Okay, focus on your breath. There's nowhere else you have to go, nothing else you have to do right now. Let the mind have time to rest. Because as we use the mind to think all day long, it needs some time for itself. Otherwise the thinking gets blurry, and you can't think things through properly. But when you look after the mind, okay, then it's, then it's ready for use. Traditionally it's compared to a knife. When the knife is sharpened, all you have to do is cut once, and it cuts right through. If it's not sharp, if it's dull, you can hack at it many, many, many times, and it doesn't cut through. It's the same with our thoughts, the same with the mind. The mind doesn't have a good place to rest, a good place where it can gather its strengths. Then its thinking is really dull. It doesn't really cut through any problems really all the way, particularly the problem of suffering. Why is it that the mind causes itself suffering even though it wants happiness? You'd think we'd we would have figured that out when that went out by now, but we haven't. We're still sitting here chopping, chopping, chopping away, and nothing seems to work. That's because the mind first needs to rest. So you give it a place to rest with the breath. The breath is nourishing for the body, it's nourishing for the mind. It's restful for the body, restful for the mind. And then you can use this mind state that's been staying with the breath to look at the other problems in life, and you can see right through them. The ones you can't see through yet, well, you go back and try to get the mind more concentrated again, back and forth like this, and you find that ultimately, as the Buddha promises, you can cut all the way through. So learn how to look after your mind, because it is your most important possession. Without this, where would we be? We've got a human mind. Make sure you use it well. If you use it well, then it's then it's a source for great for great happiness. If you don't use it well, it can be a source for great suffering. This is why the Buddha said the well trained mind is what brings happiness. So focus on keeping the mind trained. And when you think about training the mind, it sound, may sound harsh. You think about training horses or training animals where there's a lot of pain involved. But this training involves bringing the mind to the breath, letting it breath be comfortable letting the mind have a place to rest, and then looking at what it's doing to cause suffering. It's a really good kind of training. It's not harsh at all. It just takes time and dedication and conviction that this is where the source for true happiness is going to be, because otherwise the mind goes wandering off looking for other things. No wonder it's tired, because it keeps looking, 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 and never finds what it wants. And it keeps thinking, well, maybe over the next hill, over the next hill. We've got to learn that it's right here that we're going to find everything we need. 